Good morning or good afternoon, uh, dear colleagues. My name is Daniel Hawking. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Warsaw. And uh, today I'm glad to present you the results of our uh, expert novice tracking study based on uh, Russian poetic material. Currently, it is well known that expertise crucially affects all stages of comprehension processes. At the lower level, for example, uh, thanks to expertise, word recognition is less susceptible to lexical features and advanced readers are better and faster in naming and decision-making during the lexical, uh, lexical tasks. At the intermediate level, uh, skilled readers are less sensitive to syntactic complexity of the sentence. And finally, at the uh, high level of comprehension, skilled readers are better at uh, inferencing and establishing of uh, within and between text connections, uh, the level of absorption, the level of uh, empathetic uh, response to the story protagonist, etc. However, regardless the level of expertise in reading, we apply different uh, tactics and strategies when we uh, face different text types. Uh, the interesting thing that uh, the differences uh, between reading strategies exist not only between literary and uh, non-literary texts, but also between distinct, uh, distinct uh, literary genres. Uh, moreover, genre uh, categorization triggers uh, reading and comprehension strategies and influence how we gather the information uh, from the text and uh, interpret uh, different text passages. Not surprisingly, that uh, poetry also requires a specific uh, reading strategy to gather uh, the meaning of the poem. And from previous findings uh, on expert novice poetry reading uh, readers, uh, we know that poetry is read more carefully and slowly than prose. It characterized by um, increased total reading time and higher uh, reading rate, and that is quite logical. Poets have advanced skills in uh, rhyming, associating, imagining, uh, and the recall of poetic materials. Moreover, experts in poetry possess a rich uh, structure of uh, knowledge that enables them to um, recognize large uh, passages of uh, the text and uh, discover internal uh, meaning uh, and internal representation of a poem. Based on that, uh, we assumed that uh, expertise and practice in poetry lead to the emergence of poetry-appropriate reading and comprehension strategies. And uh, these strategies are more nuanced in poets. Those we expected to observe expertise uh, depend on time movements patterns, advanced verbatim memory, content recall, and better text understanding by poets uh, compared to non poets. And uh, to investigate this issue, uh, we compare eye movements. Uh, of uh, poets and non-poets while they uh, read uh, selected poetry. Uh, the focus uh, of our research is inter-individual differences and uh, Russian poetry, uh, the language which is uh, underrepresented uh, in the contemporary empirical literary study field. And so uh, we believe that the results can uh, broaden the scope of uh, contemporary eye tracking studies and uh, empirical literary studies. For the research, we um, volunteer uh, two groups of participants, uh, 10 uh, professional poets who professionally engaged in poetry creation. 
uh, they were uh, authors of dozens of books and uh, awardees and nominees of uh, different poetry competitions. And the second group of novices, uh, it was uh, readers who reported uh, to read poetry less than uh, once a month. Uh, then we uh, compiled the corpus of uh, Russian poetry and selected four stimuli for the experiments. Uh, and uh, these uh, four poems were comparable in uh, different uh, parameters, uh, such as uh, lines, words, uh, word frequency, length, and orthographic neighborhood. Um, during the uh, research, we uh, employed the uh, following procedure. So the brief questionnaire with the question uh, about uh, professional engagements and uh, reading habits, uh, age, uh, etc. Uh, then test uh, burst reading on the screen and calibration and validation of the tracker. Then the eye tracking study, so the text reading uh, from the screen. And uh, then uh, participants filled in uh, free uh, additional tasks uh, such as uh, free association task, uh, closed test and uh, key words experiment. Uh, unfortunately, we failed uh, to find some differences between participants in the last uh, three experiments, uh, mostly due to the lack of uh, participants, lack of data. And so uh, we hope that in the future we can uh, uh, fill this gap. As for uh, data analysis, uh, we conducted uh, word level analysis employing uh, linear mixed uh, regression models, considering three main uh, eye tracking uh, measurements, uh, such as first uh, fixation duration, case duration, and uh, total reading time. Unfortunately, uh, due to the lack of data and uh, lack of uh, participants, we could not uh, calculate the uh, word skipping rate and uh, regression rate, and uh, we also could not uh, build uh, the more complex uh, regression model to uh, include these measurements uh, in the current analysis. Um, the cleaning process uh, consisted of uh, three main steps and the uh, general loss of uh, data uh, from the experiment amounted in uh, 2%. So let's take a look at this table, uh, which uh, doesn't tell us uh, something new actually, uh, being a replication of the previous findings. Uh, but now we know for sure that uh, long words, uh, the words with a uh, high number of orthographic neighbors and uh, low frequent word are read uh, longer and uh, the word length and uh, word frequency are moderated uh, by the uh, number of orthographic neighbors. The substantial results were observed in the uh, first pass gaze duration. Uh, here we observed not only the effect of uh, lexical features uh, such as length, orthographic neighbors and uh, log frequency, but also textual features uh, such as text position and position in the line, and also the effect of the group. Uh, first of all, uh, the case duration increased uh, for uh, words uh, appearing later in the poem and uh, at the end of the line. Uh, the word length effect uh, decreased as uh, readers progress uh, through the poem and uh, the more orthographic neighbors uh, the word has, the stronger effect of the word length and the weaker facilitative effect of the uh, word frequency. Uh, here, uh, what is uh, important to mention that the poets were uh, less sensitive to the word length effect compared uh, to novices. The most 
prominent observation we made uh, within the study that the gaze durations of uh, novices uh, became faster as they progressed through the poem and also uh, as they progressed through the words in the one line. So the line final words were read uh, faster than uh, non-final ones and the uh, words in the at the end of the poem were read also faster than the uh, early ones. Um, interestingly that the uh, first pass reading of poets uh, do uh, um, doesn't show this accelerating trend uh, during the reading the entire text and the gaze duration of the poets were un unaffected uh, by the uh, word position in the line. So what we can see here is the uh, total reading time data uh, and uh, here we failed uh, to establish uh, any between group differences. Uh, however, uh, we observe uh, the lexical and textual feature ses effects as well as uh, several uh, interactions. Actually, we uh, just repli uh, replicate and uh, confirm one more time the previous findings that the long words, the words with a uh, higher number of uh, orthographic neighbors and the high frequent word are read longer. Uh, that's uh, quite uh, obvious, I guess, and uh, this is both uh, conclusion. Uh, the text position here means that the readers became faster as, as uh, they progress through the poems. Uh, here in the several interactions uh, we can see that the uh, greater numbers of uh, orthographic neighbors increased uh, the uh, detrimental effect of the word lens and uh, reduced uh, the facilitation effect of uh, the high frequent word. Uh, moreover, uh, the word length effect uh, here was uh, stronger for the words appeared earlier in the poem and uh, in the uh, line, uh, initial line words uh, compared to the uh, line final words. So to draw the general conclusion of the research we can uh, mentioned that the lexical and text variables uh, effects uh, uh, replicate uh, the previous findings uh, which were done by Reiner, HP and uh, Kliegel. Uh, first of all, the lexical features affected all three eye movements uh, measures and the text-related variables affected only late stages of processing. Uh, that's important uh, probably to mention that the shorter uh, gaze duration uh, were observed for words occurring later in the poem. That means that the readers uh, go uh, faster as they uh, read the text and the total reading time in general decreased as readers progress through the poem. Uh, the most paramount uh, finding was done during the research is that uh, first pass reading is uh, affected by the level of expertise. So we have observed the acceleration of the reading speed by novices uh, as they progress through the poem and progress through the line. Uh, and so we didn't observe uh, such uh, patterns and tendencies uh, by poets. So the reading uh, speed by poets retained steady. Um, moreover, the word length effect was less nuanced uh, in poets. Uh, it, these results might uh, reflect that poets uh, read or tend to read uh, poetry unbiased and that uh, for them uh, each word within the poetic text is equally important and significant. So probably they do not draw the uh, difference between meaningful and content words and uh, meaningless and uh, non-content words, fictional. Um, Moreover, uh, 
between group differences in word position within the line might reflect that uh, novices uh, have more uh, classical uh, typical reading strategies while uh, poets uh, on the contrary, more familiar with unrhymed poetry and inclined towards uh, unrhymed poetry. Uh, and uh, so they uh, try to uh, read uh, and perceive each uh, line as uh, significantly important to another one. Uh, thank you for your uh, attention and uh, for the invitation. Um, for the conference, I would be glad to have some uh, feedback from you and uh, to have a more broad and, and uh, extended uh, discussion uh, about the results. Thank you and uh, goodbye.